Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And we're going to talk about Disney possibly attempting to unsnap the MCU. They're going to un-F themselves. They're going to un-F themselves. Uh, maybe. So lots of things going on with the MCU. And, you know, it's always like, uh, you know, two steps forward, one step back. I so, think it's more one step forward, two steps back later. Yeah, we'll just uh, strike that, reverse it, right? So Daredevil, um, they are reversing course. They're actually reshooting most of Daredevil. Mm -hmm. And it's interesting because they have the Punisher coming back. Um, spoilers. The Punisher oh, coming yeah, back. Yeah. But he's in costume. And strangely enough, he is wearing the Punisher logo, the mm -hmm. controversial Punisher logo. Well, that's that because he's going to be a Trump supporter. Yeah, I don't know that. I'm just saying as a joke. <laughs> but it, that that shocked me because Marvel Comics has tried to get rid of it, and because of January 6, because a couple of guys had it on their jackets or whatever. But uh, they they redid the whole thing. They redid the whole origin of the Punisher. They had his wife dress him down or something. Some stupid crap, whatever. But it looks like they're trying to get back to basics with it. So they have the Punisher coming back. They have the actress that played Vanessa coming back. Mm -hmm. um, they got uh, Foggy and, and uh, Karen back. Yeah, they have Jessica Jones is going to be Jessica in Jones is coming back. Um, supposedly Iron Fist. I don't know if he's going to be in this one, but they're, they're, they're teasing that he might be coming back to the MCU. So it does look like they're trying to make this a proper sequel to the Daredevil Netflix show, which everybody freaking loved, right? It was It was really, really good. And then uh, Born Again sounded like it was going to be a joke. It was going to be more in line with what happened in She-Hulk, which people freaking hated. You know, no, we... I'm a liar. You're oh, okay. a misogynist. You just hate women. Um, but th the Punisher thing really hate shocked green me. Women. You hate green women, right? Just the green ones. Mm -hmm. um, but the, the, the other boot dropping is Robert Downey Jr. coming out and basically saying he might come back to the MCU. Because I think Disney's that desperate. I think they're so desperate to fix it that if they had to throw freaking $50 million at Robert Downey Jr. to get him to come back, they would do it mm -hmm. uh, in a heartbeat because he basically built the MCU. And now, obviously, there are other, but, but like his character yeah, built Yeah, it the was MCU. Iron Man's why we have the MCU. Let's right. be honest. That's what happened. So this, uh, he had an interview with Esquire. Dare two ago, he said that uh, Robert Downey Jr. would happily return to the MCU. That role chose me. He said, it's a part of my DNA. The, ro the uh, role chose me. And look, I always say never, ever bet against Kevin Feige. Yeah, it's I a, would. <laughs> it's a losing <laughs> bet. He's the Not house. Really. The house always wins. No. Yeah. No. Not lately. I think what is going to happen now that they have all this multiverse crap going on is that they will find a way to, if it's not the 616 version of Tony Stark, they will find a way to bring another Robert Downey Jr. version of Tony Stark back. Now, I hope they have the good sense to... Uh, have they canceled Ironheart? Is that still happening? I think it's still happening. I don't know why. But if they do bring him back, it'd be like, well, here's Ironheart too. Oh my God, she's going to be like a psychic. No, actually, what people thought they were going to do is he was going to be the new Jarvis. They were going to have a yeah. Tony... Tony or AI flashbacks. or flashbacks or something. But if they bring him back properly during secret wars or something, or even at the end of whatever they're, I mean, look, they got to do something, right? They've lost their big bad. They had Kang. They lost him because of everything going on with that. He's got like a year of rehab or something he has to do. Jonathan majors mm -hmm. and he's out. And you know, silver surfer is a chick like what the hell? And like, they got to do something. They have to do something to fix it. And this might be the, this might be the, the Trump card. Can I say that? Can I say Disney's going to play a Trump card? No, that's the Punisher. Okay. <laughs> Punisher's going to play the Trump card. I don't know, guys. I think they would totally do it. There is too much riding on Marvel. And I think they're going, I mean, this, this might go along with what Bob Iger was saying, which is they're going to look at the history of the characters Basically, they're going to look at the history of the box office and they're going to be like, what worked? What did people like? What did they give us money for? Oh, yeah, they liked Iron Man. Well, put some feelers out. Would Robert Downey Jr., would he come back? Would he come back? He would? Oh, my God, yes, because it's worth paying him $50 million or even $100 million. 
if he can make you a billion dollars at the box office, mm -hmm. you know, and he can sell action figures because nobody gives a shit about the Marvel Universe now. No, they don't. And that's the problem. And now they're talking, too, that there's, there's, there's you know, speaking of things coming back, there's rumor that they tr they're trying to bring S.H.I.E.L.D. back. Now it's a rumor. But they asked Clark Gregg about it the other oh, yeah, day. Yeah. And he's like, well, you know, there's nothing saying that Coulson couldn't be a multiverse version of Coulson. You know, so I, I, I do think that they're going to they're going to try that one because S.H.I.E.L.D. is very popular. Oh, my so. God. What if they had Coulson and, and Tony team up together? From a different play, different from different multiverses, and then like, oh my god, they do like a slow mo high five or something, and then no, it's like, not. It's not ruining. Be really cringy. It's not ruin the moment. But I'm like, what are they going to do with the next Avengers movies anyway? Like they killed all the Avengers off. They replaced them all. What are they going to do? No, they're just going to keep their prime. It's called the leftovers. That's that's what it is. <laughs> it's like these are all the leftover characters um, from the MCU. I just I don't think it's going to go the way I think it's going to go. I don't think that the new Captain America movie is going to do well because people think Captain America and think Chris Evans. I'm sorry. It's just, uh, yeah. this is what it is. And I don't think the, the Falcon and Winter Soldier did all that great. No, um, it did not. And then there's talking that the, the Winter Soldier won't even be in it. And then um, I do not believe Thunderbolts is going to do well at all either. I really do not believe it's going to. Unless we see some trailers that are like most amazing thing you've ever seen I, funniest thing you've ever seen i don't think it's gonna do well i could be wrong um but i don't think it is i don't i don't think so either i mean to get marvel back to a place where people give a shit you've got to have well one you gotta get the fantastic four right because you're you're betting heavy on that two you gotta get the x-men right um well what, what do they have going on for them what are people excited about but what are people excited about they're excited about daredevil born again and they're getting it back from Netflix. And people are very, very excited about it. Every time they announce the cast members from the Netflix series um, coming, they're very excited. They have Deadpool and Wolverine. And people are very excited about that one. Um, and they're they're pretty excited about the, the X-Men 97. And the, they're excited about the Fantastic Four, uh, minus the Silver Surfer issue. But the other things people were like, okay, it doesn't sound too bad. So those are the things people are actually talking about or interested in. You don't hear jack shit about the Captain America movie. No. You don't hear jack shit about the Thunderbolts unless you're hearing about reshoots. You're not hearing much about them because nobody cares. I get the Harkness. Nobody cares. I mean, I think people were like, I think, yeah, they're not really, they don't really care now. But I think people are going to care more about that than they are about the Thunderbolts. I don't, I don't know. I just don't think it's going to be because you're also taking Thunderbolts, except for like the Black Widow movie. Most of these characters, not all, but most of them were TV show, the, the, the Disney Plus show related. Yeah. The people are going to be like, who? Well, if they were going to do that, if they were going to do Dis a Disney Plus show characters in a, a movie, a team up, you've got pretty much everybody from the West Coast Avengers. Well, the, yeah, they're, I think they're gearing for the Young Avengers instead. No. I don't think it's going to go well. It's not going to go well. The Young event, no. West, West Coast Avengers might. West Coast Avengers, because you've actually got some connection to the proper Avengers. I think it would go. But Young Avengers, I think Avengers, it would, no. too. I think it would, too, in the fact that it's characters, it's all the characters people know. And it's got the Avengers name, which people are like, oh, Avengers. Yeah. And you could set it up as its own thing. And you could have two properties with Avengers going at once. You and it would be smart. But we're talking about Disney. Yeah. You do Young Avengers, and it's going to be like, oh, it's the kitty versions of the Avengers. We don't want all the replacement. I don't think people want that at all. No. But you get, you know, Scarlet Witch and Vision and U.S. Agent and, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. uh, Wonder Man. They're doing a Wonder Man. You get those guys and maybe throw in a couple of the OG Avengers. Hawkeye was, on, you know, led the team. And I think should bring Jeremy Renner back anyway, just because Jeremy Renner deserves it after what he's been through. Oh, yeah. Dude's yeah. a legend. But we like, talk about a hero, badass. There you go. But they, they could do they could do a West Coast Avengers. Uh, that, that actually would work. But I, I don't know, guys. I think this is just a Hail Mary pass. I think now the big rumor is what is going to happen with Secret Wars is they're going to basically reset the MCU. And I think the reason they're going to reset it is because everybody's contracts ran out. So they're going to be like, oh, we'll reset it with a bunch of younger actors playing they're these They're going to have to anyway, because let's be honest, a lot of the actors are getting too old to do it. Yeah. Let's, I mean, we're going to be completely fair. I mean, we're going on what? Like Iron Man came out, what, 2008? And uh, yeah. So we're talking, you know, 16 years ago. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and by the time Secret Wars comes out, it's going to be damn near 20 years. So, yeah, you're going to have to. But it's going to be, it feels like if they do that, it's going to be kind of like Spider-Man where they jumped right from the Tobey Maguire's into the Amazing Spider-Man, the Andrew Garfield movies. And then they jumped right into the Tom Holland movies where it's just like constantly rebooting the MCU. And that's probably what's going to happen. They're probably introducing the whole multiverse thing. So it's like, 
Yeah, everybody gets too old or they get too expensive or whatever. Yeah, we just we just uh, reboot the universe. Yeah, that's what we do. Pretty much. So, but uh, yeah, I think he's gonna be back. I think they're gonna bring him back. I think they they're gonna him. have to because they their their Marvel films and shows have been declining returns. And last year, the only Marvel movie that even did somewhat okay was Guardians of the Galaxy Volume Three, because it was the same team that you you knew. Yep. Everything else, no. Sorry, shows flushing down the toilet. They are not doing well. Um, it is what it is. People want the original characters. They don't want, you know, whatever agenda bullshit you're giving them this week. I'm sorry. It's what it is. All right. So we're going to wrap this up? Yes. Okay. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants. We'll talk later. Bye.